In this section, you are going to accurately illustrate bearing on a diagram. Here we have a question. Town A is 10 kilometers on a bearing of 70 degrees from Town B. Draw an accurate diagram to illustrate this. You are required to use a scale of 1 centimeters to equal to 1 kilometer. And part B, you are required to determine the bearing of tone B from tone A. Okay, the first thing we're going to review is these three important points here. One, bearing is measured from north. Two, bearing is measured in a clockwise direction and it is written in three figures. So three figures means that instead of writing 90 degrees you write 0, 9, 0 degrees. So we have the four cardinal points. So in order to draw your diagram, you, you first draw your four cardinal points, which are shown here. North is zero, zero, zero degrees, which is in three figures. So instead of writing zero degrees, it's zero, zero, zero degrees. And it's also 360 degrees, because if you make one complete turn in a clockwise direction, it's 360 degrees. Now let us do part A for a question. So we want to make an accurate drawing for this. So tone A is 10 kilometers and a bearing of 70 degrees from tone B. From tone B means that you're gonna start from tone B. So I'm gonna highlight this here. From tone B is very important that you look at the question and see what it say when it says from it means that you're starting from that point there okay so let us now use our protractor and make an accurate drawing of this so here is our protractor and bearing is measured from north in a clockwise direction so north is here clockwise direction we need to do 70 degrees we need to measure 70 degrees so we line up our protractor 0 here center at tone B so we are starting from tone B so let us now measure 70 degrees so 70 degrees is along this line here and it says 10 kilometers so we're going to measure that, that after so we put in our 70 degrees we measure from north in a clockwise direction and that's 0, 7, 0 degrees okay so now we need to measure 10 kilometers away we use our ruler and we're gonna measure 10 kilometers away but bear in mind the scale says using a scale of one centimeter to represent one kilometer so we just need to measure 10 centimeters on this to represent that so 10 centimeters is right at this point here so town A is 10 kilometers away which is right at this point here so that's 10 kilometers away and town A is here so we have an accurate diagram drawn so what we're gonna do next now is to do part B what is the bearing of tone B from tone A that means you're going to measure the bearing from tone A so you need to put in the four cardinal points which is here make sure you draw that in now the next thing you need to do now is to measure all of this angle in a clockwise direction so the bearing of tone B from tone A so we're going to measure from north in a clockwise direction right around to this angle here now this question here 
if you know about alternate angles you could simply work out the bearing without measuring it because this angle here is alternate to all of this little angle in here so this is going to be 70 degrees 0, 7, 0, 0 degrees we know that all of this is 180 degrees angles on a straight line so that's 180 degrees there now so what you could do is to add 180 plus 70 degrees so it's 180 degrees plus 70 degrees and that gives us 250 degrees for the bearing of tone B from tone A we're going to use our protractor and we're going to do the measurement as well so we know that all of this angle here is 180 degrees so we just need to measure this angle onward so let's measure the angle so we already have 180 so all we have to do is to count onwards and see if we get 250 degrees so 180 is here 190 200 10 20 30 40 50 250 degrees which is accurate to what we have done mathematically so we have done the question there so I'm going to give you a practice question so press pause and have a go at the question so here is a practice question press pause the tools that you need you need to have a protractor you need to have a ruler as well to do your question now and make sure you use the scale that is given very important for you to know that each point you draw your cardinal points and you measure from north in a clockwise direction